Hi, and welcome to iOS Motion Framework. I'm Keith Welch, and I'll be the instructor for this course. In this course, we're going to take a look at working with the sensors that are available in a typical iOS device. And a typical device has a rich set of sensors. There are accelerometers, gyroscopes, magnetometers, or a compass, and GPS sensors. And these can be really useful in both social networking and gaming apps. Social networking might focus on the GPS that gives location information, but it might also use the compass in order to provide directions. Gaming apps can use the accelerometer and the gyroscope in order to detect motion gestures. The framework can also be useful for security apps as well. A GPS can help locate a phone or can help locate a person who is carrying a phone. I've also seen an application that uses motion gestures to launch applications and to do particular actions. For instance, a panic action. If you're in trouble, instead of having to kind of tap away at the phone and try to make a call, this application allows you to just shake it, and that way it will make a call for you. So this course is going to demonstrate how to use the tools that are available in the device, and will provide some sample applications that you can work with for your apps. For course topics, we're going to have an introduction to the core motion framework, and that will include the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the compass. And in that introduction, we'll describe what the various sensors do and how they work. Then we'll start taking a look at how to access motion data. And there are a couple of techniques to do so. You can use a polling technique or an event-driven technique. Then we'll get down to the details of using the gyroscope, the accelerometer, and the compass. Then we'll move over to location services. And we'll start with geocoding, which is the basis of location services because we need to be able to convert addresses to latitude and longitude. The Location Service API typically works with latitude and longitude, whereas humans typically work with street addresses. And then finally, we'll do some mapping. So we'll be able to answer that question, where am I? We'll be able to provide an address, and we'll also be able to provide a visual on a map as to where we are. So who am I? I've got about 30 years in the industry, and that doesn't prove a whole lot, except I'm fairly old. I have 10 years in mobile, and when I started in mobile, the big decision for me was whether I should go with Pocket PC, which was a Microsoft product, or Palm Pilot. You guys remember Palm Pilots, right? So I happened to choose Microsoft because I believed in the Microsoft stack, and I believed that their mobile strategy would eventually blend into their desktop strategy. Okay, so they're trying that with Windows 8 now. Perhaps I was ahead of my time or just really off. At any rate, mobile seems to have passed Microsoft by for the time being, and I've branched over into iOS and Android. I also have 10 years plus in .NET. I was involved in the first beta back in 2002. In terms of technologies, because I've been around for a while, this list could be a lot longer, but these are the current ones. I, of course, code in iOS and Android. And I also use Xamarin Mono, which allows me to code in .NET for both iOS and Android. This course, by the way, will be in Objective-C. I also code some in Windows Mobile still, and ASP.NET, WCF, and Windows Forms. In terms of databases, I'm comfortable in SQL Server, MySQL, SQLite, and Oracle, and there are a number of other ones that I've used in the past. In terms of language, you get the normal expected stack for a mobile and web developer, with Objective-C, Java, C-Sharp, VVSum, and JavaScript and jQuery. I'm the owner of Mooseworks Software LLC, and you can see the website for that. And I specialize in custom app development and mobile developer tools, and have been doing so for over 10 years. Again, I'm a little old. If you have any questions about the course, or interesting projects that you'd like me to take a look at, you can reach me at keith at mooseworksoftware.com.